Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, today we have two goals in mind. And uh, first is it's almost Christmas time. And I just announced uh, like two videos ago, uh, we're doing a giveaway. So at the end of this video, we are gonna be doing that giveaway. This is just appreciation to all you subscribers and stuff that watch the videos regularly and always comment and uh, you know give us support. So this is uh, going back to you. So at the end of this video, we're gonna announce the winner of the free fishing trip and we're gonna and we got some swag to give away for two other people well the second part of today uh i always get the same questions this time of year i start getting them on facebook and instagram and uh email and in the comment sections of the videos and stuff around this time it's like hey are the sheep's head in are the sheep's head biting where are the sheep's head so today that's what we're gonna go find out uh i'm on a exp fishing expedition literally and uh we're gonna go see if the sheep's head are biting find out if you know if they're in if they're thick if they're uh you know how big they are and we're just going to bounce around a little bit we're not really trying to feel the cooler if we catch a couple of keepers that'll be great but uh all we're really doing is uh looking to just you know see how the sheep's head is so when you guys ask i can just send you this video or if you're watching regularly you know what's going on so uh let's get to it guys well guys we're going to start off uh with some shrimp because that's all we got um usually i prefer when i'm searching for uh sheep's head i like sand fleas or fiddler crabs but if that's all you got the shrimp you know you just make make do so this is what i like to do i take a this is one of my little setups uh I, you know i got some bottom sweeper jigs and such but i just got a little uh i think about a three quarter ounce weight and a fish finder rig and uh this is like a two watt inline circle hook and i just hook them through the back like that and i'm gonna drop them down and see what we can find there we go uh uh lost them i think that was a little mangrove though but target sheep's head all right uh now i'm switching over to the the bottom sweeper and i just hook them through the tail like that so they can bob around Let's see what we got. Oh, a little freaking rockfish. Dang it. Uh, of course. But we'll keep looking. You know, it's getting that time of year, so either they're showing up or they will be soon. Get them out. Get them out. What do we got? Yep, there we go. First sheep's head of the day. Not the right size, but it looks like a little small. But this is what we're looking for. Come on, buddy, you're going back. But he's gotta be 12 inches. This guy's like 11 and a half. I'm gonna, I usually don't keep him until about 14. There we go. There we go. There's a nice one. That's a nicer one. It's closer to the size we're looking for. Oh. Yeah, so they're around. This guy is. This one's 13 and a half, so we'll put him in the box. He's close enough to 14. And we'll drop down again. We're just. Using bottom sweeper jigs and tossing them out. Got him. Got him. Another nice one. Flip him in a boat. Yep. It's going to probably be cookie cutter size. Cookie cutter size means they're like they're all about the same size. If you're not sure what that means. But 
It's a little push. Man, this guy's slippery. Poked me like three times. Let's measure you up. You might be going back, buddy. Oh. He's closer to 14 than the last one. So he's gonna go in a box. And guys, in this area of Florida, sheep's head are you know 12 inch minimum and eight eight per person. We'll do this start to finish again. See how long this takes. Sheep said do, do one thing, they do teach us a little bit of patience. They are hard critters to catch sometimes. They will nibble, nibble, nibble and steal your baits. So they, they don't call them convicts for nothing. It's not just because of the stripes. Phil nibbles. Now just keep the line kind of taut so I can feel the bite. And that quick, they eat all that shrimp. Here goes another one. Much prefer sand fleas and fiddler crabs, but this is what we got today. Shrimp. Here we go. Oh, freaking toad. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Couldn't, couldn't come dock hopping without catching one of these. Yeah, that's what most people. Toadfish or mother-in-law. All right, you two, have a good one. Glad to see you made it through the storms. All right, we're gonna toss one more out and then we're probably gonna move on to see if uh, there's any other areas that might uh, be holding some fish or actually sheep's head. We're really just targeting sheep's head today, but I'm just kind of see, you know, it's a little early, it's, you know, a little early for the season, but it gets real hot and heavy in the middle of December usually, but you never know what these storms could have everything all out of whack. And so, so I'm out here trying to see Feel that nibble. They probably got me there. Probably got me. Yep, got me. All right, so we're just gonna keep moving on. Like this is a expedition fishing trip today. You know, the goal is not to fill the box. The goal is just to see what's biting and where. There we go. That's a nice one. There we go. That's a nice. That's gonna be a nice one. Eh, he might be a little small. We'll see. Yep. Yeah. Sheep said number four today. And this guy, he's probably going back. Come on, let go. Let go, buddy. Quit chomping down. There you go. He's just under 12, so we'll let him go. There you go. Fill a nibble. Nibble, nibble. He got me. That quick, man. They will just take your bait that quick. Do I got some over here? Little, uh, yep, little mangrove. Little mangrove. Uh, probably have to get a de-hooker and get that guy out. Don't want to hurt him. Open your mouth there, buddy. There you go. Safe and sound. There we go again. So those, see those nibbles? Come on. 
Take it. There we go. Uh, I think it's a mangrove, yeah. Yeah, some of these little mangroves are just hanging around the sheep's head. But hey, you gotta take the good with the bad. Well, these aren't bad, they're just small. Still catching fish though. And uh, we got on the target species. That was the whole thing today is we just wanted to see how the, the sheep's head bite's going. And so far it's not like hot and heavy, but it's, it's pretty good. We're gonna hit over here. Yeah. What do we got over here? Eh, another mangrove. I just threw this out here for, see what's gonna bite. Lots of mangroves and quite a few sheep's head too already, so. Got them. Oh, nope, lost them. <laughs> yeah, I think they're just mangroves. So I think uh, we'll just keep moving on. It's, oh, just reeling this up and probably got another little mangrove on here. Yep. Don't want to hurt them, so. There you go. Come on, Lolly. All right, guys. Well, Tide's going out, it's almost slack. We've only been out here about an hour and a half, two hours. But uh, you know, we got on some fish, so it's time for Lily to take a run. And then we are going to go talk about gear. And uh, then we're gonna announce the winner of the drawing for the uh, free giveaway. All right. This is our favorite time. Woo. Here you go, pumpkin. So we're gonna go where hopefully the wind's a little quieter. All right guys, the wind's a little calmer over here. So we're gonna go over gear real quick. On this one setup, I just had a simple fish finder rig with a, a three ounce, uh, probably egg sinker and a fish finder rig, a little a two watt inline circle hook. I like to use circle hooks. I don't like to use J hooks. You're really not supposed to be using J hooks when you're fit bottom fishing uh, anyway. But uh, just in case you, like you do catch, you see all those mango snappers I caught? Um, you know, if I was got them with the J hooks, much more likely to gill hook them or gut hook them. Uh, but every one of those got released, uh, you know, a okay. And, uh, you know, we can, I've caught plenty of sheep's head on this too. This is just basically a GX2 rod. I think it's like six and a half foot. It's like a medium strength. And I got like a Pen Pursuit 3, 3000 on here, 20 pound braid, and uh, I think 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. I don't like to use mono. I like to use braid and fluorocarbon because it doesn't stretch. Uh, mono stretches, I like to feel that bite, especially sheep's head fishing. And uh, that's why I go with that. Then on the other setup, um, I retied another lure on here for later, but uh, I got a Pin Pursuit 3, oh, excuse me, a Pin Pursuit uh, 4 3000 uh, combo. So it's a, it's a pin reel and rod. And this is a medium action, seven foot, and uh, you know, it's got a light enough touch where I can still feel the bite. I like to, when I'm sheep's head fishing, I like to have a rod that's light enough where you can kind of feel it when you're not just yanking the, you know, the hook out of their mouth. Uh, and, and today we were just using bottom sweeper jigs on this setup. And that's probably about a three quarter ounce if I had to guess. And it's like a, I think a, a one uh J hook. And usually I don't, you don't have to really worry about gut hooking or gill hooking things with this because like as soon as you feel that bite, you, you set that hook. So it's like right there in their mouth. I don't think I've really had much issues with gut hooking or gill hooking anything with these. But when I'm bottom fishing on a fish finder rig, I always use inline circle hooks. So that's going to kind of wrap up what we're doing here now. So it's quiet. Uh, I have to do the drawing at the house because I have a random generator on the computer that's going to pull up the names for the winners. So we're going to head in there and we'll pick this up. All right, guys, 
we're back at the house here and uh, we're gonna fix in a pick a winner but first of all I want to talk to you guys about this um, I have added e-gift certificates for um, fishing trips and or just a gift certificate for a hundred dollars off any trip and they're all on sale right now uh, $50 off each trip and uh, I got the $100 gift certificate which would make a great stocking stuffer uh, down to 85 bucks right now so you can go on there to check it out anyway now we're gonna get to the, the drawing uh, first we're gonna give away these two hats um, so anybody that typed in swag in the comments pick a random winner all right Quentin Covington you're the winner of the first hat good job and uh, you know, uh, if you're a winner, just email me. Our email's in the description area below the video. It's saltystrikes at gmail.com. And we're going to pick another winner. Stan. Good job. Stan's another winner. So, uh, you two guys, you know, just send me an email. Or my phone number's in the, in the description area too. You can text me or whatever. Get a hold of me and we'll send you a free hat. So what the next thing we got to do is we're going to pick the winner of the YouTube fishing experience. YouTube fishing experience is for one person and it's a little bit different than a fishing charter. You just get to come fishing with me and you know, I'll, I'll figure out what we're going to do for the day. Maybe inshore, maybe offshore. It's probably inshore this time of year. If you want to wait till later, uh, you can do it, uh, in, in spring, like the last winter, he's waiting till spring before he comes out, but the sheep's head bite are hot right now. So if that's what you're into, uh, that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna pick the draw the winner. Yeah. All right guys And I got Finn here to help me pick the winner uh, If you put Finn in the comments, it's gonna pick one of you guys. So let's see who the winner is Bill Mead All right, Bill <laughs> You won the free YouTube fishing experience. So so like I said before just email me and we'll get in contact and we'll work out uh, a YouTube fishing experience for you. Could be, you know, if you want to do it now or later, it's up to you. But uh, thanks everybody for supporting the channel. You guys have been great. And till we see you next time, guys, stay salty.